Jen, first off, I love you endlessly. Second, take a deep breath and enjoy every moment of this day. We will be married in a short while. I am excited and anxiously awaiting to look in your eyes and declare our forever like that. Lewis, can't believe our big day is finally here. It's very exciting. I'm very much looking forward to walking out of the door and seeing you. I'm filled with all the excitements and emotions today as I write this and so many things are going on around me. When I started to write this letter to you, I started to cry. You are everything I have ever wanted. From the first time I met you, I wanted to be your friend, and over time, it grew into a love for all that you are. As I write this, and so many things are going on around me, thank you so much for not running for the hills <laughs> when I said I wasn't interested in dating or commitment. Thank you for always being my biggest fan and my rock. I can't wait for life with you, the trips, the events, the laughs, the beers, the wines, and even that we just spend the evening watching TV. Need to pick back up on Ragnarok soon. <laughs> How you work, the way that you treat people, and the ease with which I can talk to you. I had to give it my all to gain your attention, to show you the love I could give to you. Truly, like a fairy tale, it all fell into place. I was able to gain my best friend and forever girl. Now we get to grow, build and prosper in this journey together. You love and care with your whole heart, and I'm so lucky to be a part of that. I feel like we fit so well that everything just fell into place so easily. I love sharing things with you, either things we enjoy, you were the puzzle piece I was missing. And now that I have you, I feel so fulfilled and excited to spend all of my days with you. love you and why do I want to marry you? The reasons why are endless, but one I have not shared with you before is the comfort you bring to me. You are my best friend, and I feel so lucky to say that. How great for your spouse to be your biggest supporter and your best friend. It's the whole package. You aren't like anyone I have ever met, and you continue to amaze me. I love that you show me you love me, you make me feel safe, beautiful, comfortable, funny, everything positive that I had always hoped I would have. For the first time, I feel like I have the love that will really last. My life has been less than ideal in a lot of ways. My dad never being present, the anger and rage I witnessed growing up often left me feeling that life is a series of being let down and is a result and as a result, you only have yourself to count on. To build a wall and keep your emotions close to your heart so others have no chance to hurt you or take a piece of yourself, you will never get back. I see us giving each other a hard time and having belly laughs on our screened-in porch one day. I hope I can always make you as happy and feel as loved as you make me feel. I can't wait to meet you on top of the boathouse. You are open with me. You let me cry and support me. When others do me wrong, you immediately have my back. You are my biggest cheerleader. The life and love you give me is something I have dreamed of my entire life. I do not know how I got so lucky and gained the most beautiful soul in my life. In return, I promise that I too will always be your biggest cheerleader, supporter, lover. You will never go through any of this alone again. Also, I'm not saying this just because you're my sugar mama now. <laughs> I could go on and on talking about how much I love you and all that you mean to me, but I feel it's more appropriate to show you by example. You will always have me and we are forever a team that gives all our love to growing and loving together. Now go enjoy these few minutes of only one ring on your finger. It is time for us to put our new bling, put on our new bling and celebrate our love with our friends and family. Love, Lewis.
Jennifer, will you have Louis to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Louis, will you have Jennifer to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, for forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Say, I will. I will. In the name of God, I, Lewis, take you, Jennifer, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Jennifer, take you, Lewis, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall. This is my soul and vow. Jennifer, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Louis, I give you this ring. Louis, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family of the bride and groom, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Lewis Akers. Lewis, you may kiss your bride. It's a relationship I've seen grow over the last year. They're people who care about each other, they work through things, and they're a relationship that's gonna last. I couldn't be happier to have Jen as essentially a sister, and I love both of you, and I'm so happy for you. You know you're making me. I stop and stare, I can hardly believe it. I got the devil's kiss. You know you're making me. Send up a prayer, cause you know that I need it. Nothing compares to this. Jen, I love you so, so much. And on behalf of all the people standing up with you today, thank you for giving us the honor of playing a part in this special day. Lewis, I am so beyond thankful that my friend has met someone who loves her as much as she deserves to be loved. And thankful that you're willing to put up with the ramshackle group that comes with this girl, no matter what. We here, we here. My favorite thing about Lewis is he looks at Jen like he can't believe that she's a real person. Amen. To us, Jen deserves that and everything more because we love her so much and we're so grateful to have been in her life when she found Lewis. So you feel it like I feel it. Jennifer's one of the most caring people in the world I've ever met. I know this growing up because she always had her little brother's back. She was always there for me. She would always be there through thick and thin. I can tell you that right now. When I first met Lewis, I could tell there was something different about Lewis. And the more I got to know Lewis, the more I understood about him. But it wasn't until I first saw both of them together and the way that he made her, her face light up, the way you, you made Jennifer laugh. And I can tell you right now that as a brother, uh, brother-in-law, that's what I want to see for my sister. Sure that I will never ever forget You're making me anxious 